Hello guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do the block matrix multiplication for non-square matrices. Okay. Uh, block matrix multiplication is usually used to save the number of uh, additions and multiplications or arithmetic operations, basically, that we do in normal uh, matrix multiplication. Okay. Uh, so let's say have here two matrices, uh, as you see. Uh, one of them is uh, three by four matrix. The other one is four by three. So we know in advance the output, the result of this multiplication should be three by three matrix. Okay, good. So we usually uh, do the matrix multiplication using block matrices. If this will, uh, you know, reduce the number of multiplications and additions used. And this usually happens if uh, you have like a block of zeros in one of the matrices or both of them, or, you know, uh, it's identity matrix. Because for example, if you multiply A, any A matrix by I, it's gonna be A, okay? Or I multiplied by A, it's gonna be A as well, okay? So let's see if this is applicable here or not. So let's change the color. Let's look at the A matrix, for example. So in the A matrix, we have here a block of zeros. This block here. That's a two, I'm sorry, one by two matrix, good. Also we have that block here, which is like I, identity matrix. And if we look at B, we have the same. We have also, we don't have the same, but we have A. We have, I'm sorry, the identity matrix that block here, but we don't have zeros. But anyways, so it looks like using the, mat the block matrix multiplication for these, for that uh, for that kind of multiplication, will result in some savings of uh, the arithmetic operations, the additions and the multiplications, okay? So let's do that. Let's divide basically the A matrix. This is what we do all the time. We start by the ones that we uh, uh, multiply from uh, the left, which is A in that. Oh, sorry, I'm sorry, the first matrix, this one, the three by four. So we're gonna divide this. How we divide it? You divide it such that you have these blocks, you know? So it's completely up to you. There is no like uh, rule for it, okay? It's up to you. So it looks like here the best uh, division will be like that. Let's have like, like that. Okay, such as that you have this block of zeros and this block of identity matrix. Okay, so this division resulted in four matrices. Okay, let's call them A, B, C, D. Okay, A, B, uh, C, and D. Okay, A is two by two. B is also two by two. C is one by two, and D is one by two as well. Okay. Now we should divide the B matrix, and that's why uh, I I choose to do this video because it's not a straightforward. Okay, but based on what you have did with the A matrix, this is gonna you know determine you know somehow what you're gonna do with the A is a B matrix, or the, I'm sorry, not the B, because we already named this as uh, this is A, B, C, D. I mean the second matrix, the one on the right, okay? So, when you uh, divide it A in that way, looks like all the submatrices has the same number of columns, two, okay? And you know, when you multiply two matrices, the number of columns of the first matrix should e should be should equal the number of rows in the second matrix. Okay. So when you divide the B, you should divide it such that you know uh, the matrix C that will result in has all the time the same number uh, uh, of columns of the subdivision in A. Okay. So let's see the first one that we can do. Okay. Remember, we need the rows to be equal to the columns. The columns is always 
two in the submatrices of A, which should, so the number of call rows of the submatrices of B should also have two rows, okay? So, it's a four by three, right? Four rows by three. So we, we don't, we have only one choice for that, which is having divided in that way, okay? So that result in two matrices, two, log two, uh, by uh, three, and another two by three uh, submatrix. Okay, can we divide it further? Yes, you, yes, you can. Okay, yes, yes, but but you have to do this. You have to divide it such that you have two rows, two rows. That's the first one. Okay. Uh, now for the vertical division, yes, you can continue. You can stop like that, and you have like two matrices, and continue the block. Okay, but you can make it even easier. Okay, but by by having another vertical division. Okay, and the best vertical division here is to do that to to do to do like that. Why to have the identity matrix? This block, this uh, blue block that we had. Okay, some might say, can I have it like that? Like, like that? Yes, you can. But you, you you will lose the benefit of having identity matrix. Another might say, can we just leave it with the uh, horizontal, you know, division and don't do any vertical division? Yes, you can. But again, you will not benefit from the identity matrix that you that you see in the uh, in the matrix on the right. Okay, so let's remove that suggestion here. No, it's going to be hard. Okay. okay, let's continue now. Okay. So, let's write our matrices now. Or let's first call them like what we did with the, uh, the first matrix on the left. So, let's, so we say named uh, the sub-matrices in the matrix on the left, A, B, C, D. So we're going to continue. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. Okay? And before you continue, this is two by two. So two rows. Two by one. Two rows. Two by two. Two rows. Two by one. Again, two rows. Okay? Any submatrices on the in the matrix on the left has two columns. Any submatrices on the matrices on the right should have two rows. You can you know, multiply them together. Okay, and it doesn't have to be two. It just happened like that because of the nature of the of the matrix. Again, the division is completely up to the you know the ones that do the solution that divide. Okay, you, we divide such that we have some blocks that we can deal with easily. Blocks of zeros for identity matrix. Okay, so like, let's write now the, this multiplication in that way. We're gonna write the matrix on the left in that way, A, B, C, D. The matrix on the right, same way, E, F, G, H. Okay. Okay. This is two by two. Forget now about the original question. Just look at this one, and two by two. So the result should also be two by two. Okay. So write this normally. A B E G. So this is A E plus E G. Then A B F H, A F plus B H. Then C D E F this is E plus D G E D F H this will be C F plus D H. Now let's see now use the uh, observations that we have. Okay, we know that the matrix C is zero. So whenever you, uh, you C is equal to zeros. So zero multiplied by anything will give you zero. But of course, this will be zero matrix. So you have to remember that. That will be a zero matrix. Okay? And of course, zero 
added zero matrix added to any other matrix would give you the any other matrix like zero plus a is equal to a. okay what else is multiplied by zero uh, cf so that's again zero so you can just cancel it like that ce cf will be cancelled remember that b is identity so anything multiplied by the identity will be itself so bg will be actually g and bh will be actual h remember also e is also identity anything multiplied by e will be same so a e will be a and uh, i see is already i mean zero uh, multiplied by i it's zero so that's it okay that's it yeah no other yeah no other you know a simplification okay yeah. so let's uh, let's do this calculate this you have here like uh, now the the is our original question converted into that one okay so let's continue solving that so we're going to take one by one so ee -E plus bg this, this result in a plus g so you just add a and g so no, there is no multiplication right so a is one two g is minus three and one plus g is uh where is g with z yeah, two three three minus two add them together so one plus two three two plus three is five three minus three plus three is zero one minus two is minus one okay let's go further af plus bh because b is identity so that will be af plus plus what plus h okay af a is one Two minus three and one. F is where is F? Is two three plus H four one. Okay. So that's two by one two. That's two. Uh, that's two. Yeah, two uh, two rows by one column. So that will result in two by. It has to be two by one because h is 2 by 1. When you add two matrices, they must have the same shape, same size. So let's do the multiplication of a and f. Uh, 1, 2 plus 2, 3. Uh, this is 2 plus 6 is 8. Uh, minus 6 plus 3 is 3. And you add it to 4 and 1. That will be 12 and 4. You might have some mistake, you know, but we can review and say it. I know the solution. Okay. So good. Uh, now let's do CE DG. CE is zero, just ignore it. So you so CE plus DG. So CE is zero, so we just have DG. So we multiply D and G. Where is Mr. D? It's a 2 minus 1. And where is G? G is G is 2, 3, 3 minus 2. That's 1 by 2. That's a 2 by 2. That should give us 1 by 2. Okay. One row, two columns. 2, this is 4 minus 3 is 1. 6 plus 2 is 8. Yes, one by two. Finally, CF plus DH. CF is zero, so just this will be just DH. D is where is D? Two minus one. H is four one. 
So that's one by two, that's two by one. This will give us one by one, just scale up. So this is eight minus one, that's seven. Okay, so now we can write down the solution. Okay, so let's copy and paste this one here. Okay, uh, AE BG is three five zero minus one. Three five zero minus one. That block is finished. AFBH, AFBH is 12, 4, 12, and 4. That block is finished. CEDG is 1, 8. And CFDH, 7. Look, that's a 3 by 3 matrix. Okay? Just as what we expected for the shape. So we finished it. So now we can compare it, you know, and check on our solution using some online calculators that do the matrix multiplication for us. And we, if we have like a mistake, we can correct it. So I already uh, solved it using uh, some online matrix calculator. And here is the solution. So let's compare the solution with uh, what we got. 3, 5, 12 is OK. 0 minus 1, 4. Uh, 0 minus 1 minus 2. So this has like a problem here. The last row is also correct, 1, 8, minus 7. So this should be minus 2. Okay, this comes from that tab here, AF plus BH. It's basically F plus H. That's A, that's F, and that's H. Okay, so let's do the matrix. Let's review this. So 1, 2, 2, 3, that's 2 plus 6, it's 8. Minus 3, 2, this is minus 6, plus 3. It's minus three. Oh, minus three. Okay, minus three. And uh, eight, four, this is 12, that's correct. Minus three and one is minus is minus two. Yeah, that's that's okay, minus two. And indeed that should be minus two. Okay, guys, it's a very a little mistake. That's that's fine. Okay, as long as you can check on yourself. Okay, guys. That was it for the matrix multiplication or block matrix multiplication, okay? We have reduced the number of uh, multiplications and the additions used. Uh, maybe, you know, the difference, you know, is not so clear, but when you have like big matrices, like 1,000 by 1,000 million elements, you know, such blocking, you know, will be of a great benefit. Maybe for small examples like that, it's not. Uh, although still we have savings, but it, this, uh, in terms of runtime, for example, if you are doing this using computer software or something, this will be very clear when you have very big matrices. Okay, guys, thank you very much for watching. And see you in another video.